Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Pleasure is all mine. Uh, I'm I, I'm really glad that you accepted my invite, and to be able to share your uh, comic book journey with my fans because <laughs> by the end of yeah. the day, the community I have are people who read comics, who watch mm -hmm. animated features of superheroes, who watch movies, uh, who do cosplays. and for them to know that there happens to be a host on saudi radio who is interested in uh, uh, superheroes it's a yeah. great honor not only for me but for them as well wow okay that's lovely <laughs> i'm glad to be here before we start our conversation dr nareen i'll just mm -hmm. i just want to give you uh, give your uh, introduction to the community members who are joining in right now Uh, okay. For those of you who are not aware, Dr. Nareen Bamani is uh, a radio host. Uh, she hosts the program Good Morning KSA on Saudi Radio, and at the same time, that's not it. She is quite very much interested into art. She's uh, into script writing. She uh, she has a lot of uh, uh, characteristics that one would be expecting from a very creative individual. and today happens to be my honor my privilege to have her on uh, this instagram live session in case if any one of you misses this instagram live session this is going to be uploaded as a video podcast as well as an audio podcast on bus sprout so uh, without taking much of uh, uh, each and everyone's time uh, please join me in welcoming dr nareen bamani uh, thank you very much once again doctor Thank you for asking me here. It's good to be here. My pleasure. Now, uh, Doctor, I, Doctor Nareen, I want to basically take you through a journey back in time, <laughs> and uh, what basically led to you becoming a comic book reader. What was that point in time, and why did that happen? I'm not sure how it started. I just remember that uh, when I was living in Canada with my parents, uh -huh. uh, I was perhaps eight years old, and mm -hmm. uh, they used to comics uh, in in supermarkets. So at the checkout, there's always yes. these graphic yeah. comics and stores and stuff. And my sister and I would always ask our parents, "Please, can we buy this? Can we buy that?" And I think we were mostly tempted by the covers. <laughs> so. Uh, There would be like a Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. Uh, so we, we'd buy those and we'd go home and we'd read it and everything. And we 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 made quite a collection actually. So uh, that's where uh, it first began. The good old days. Uh, you yeah. reminded me <laughs> of my time in the U.S. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. now uh, straight fire question. Straight okay. top of your mind. Which is the first comic that you remember reading? Batman. Batman. Awesome. <laughs> And anything else you remember about that issue? Uh it was dark. <laughs> All the pictures were dark. And, uh lots of drama. Lots of brooding. No And it liked the atmosphere. It was very like mysterious. And I just wanted to know what's coming next. That's that's my memories. <laughs> that okay so that, that's basically your uh, how should i say the the starting point of your journey now at that From, uh, moment in time uh, you know it was a huge struggle for comic book uh, collectors in who are living in saudi arabia that either they had an outlet or uh, an opportunity to be in a country like canada or the us or maybe even the uk even though people who were in the uk weren't as fortunate uh, in those days to get comics because the comics mm -hmm. mostly that came in uk were uk uh, prints uh, different storyline wow. different uh, uh continuity so okay uh describe that you started uh, your comic book journey while you were in canada and uh, mm -hmm. batman was the comic that created the most impact for you how did you proceed to keep on collecting your comics and were you lucky to get to find something in jadda Uh no no, now that you pointed it out no I think oh, when we came back we stopped we stopped oh uh, okay uh, yeah okay so, so from no, that it's just a collection of time four years in Canada and we collected quite a bit 
Uh, right. I gotta confess, we also bought our cheese. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's a comic yeah, in the com- end. Yeah. yeah, not superheroes, but so. And I still, we still have those. We still have them. I actually gave them to my children. My daughters all, have them. all of those comics. Every, all of them. Wow! They wow! Have, They're lucky yeah. to have that. Yeah, I know. I just they they love the they love the comics so much, especially my youngest. She's the one who brought me back to remembering that I used to like these comics and the, the books and the watching now the superhero movies. So uh, when I tell her, you know, these might be worth a lot now. You can sell them. And, She'll say never, never. I'm never gonna sell. <laughs> so I'm glad. That passed okay. on to them. <laughs> you passed yeah. it on to them, right? So I mean, you yeah. just mentioned that your daughter uh, was the one who, you know, reintroduced you, or uh, I, I think not reintroduced uh, would be won't be the right word. She reconnected you with your, uh, uh, with your passion for superhero thing. Yeah. Now being being a mother. Uh, uh, you know in our society when we were young it was already a taboo to be into comics and stuff because you know uh, we would often hear like in my time because uh, i had to collect my comics from outside of saudi arabia and then bring them back here in jeddah okay. so i i would often hear this thing like for example ishad abu sura ya khi hadi majallat hada cartoonat and stuff so okay yeah so now uh what is it that you know basically kept you glued on to superheroes because in your introduction i mentioned that uh, the reason we got connected was because one day you were hosting a program uh, on your show uh, sorry a, a segment on your show that was talking about superheroes and the conversation we had that conversation informed me basically that uh, the host is someone who knows these characters mm-hmm. quite deeply So what is it that still you know keeps you connected to it what's that x factor that you have uh the action the drama the, the amazing fight between good and evil and uh the characters are not as shallow as uh as i remember as it it's like when i was a child i, I didn't look deeply into you know uh what's driving him what's his guilt what's the, how does he change and grow and that kind of thing but now uh there's more depth to it and uh i really really enjoyed the acting and my my oldest daughter told me you have to watch iron man and that was the first one and once i watched iron man that's it everything had to follow the avengers and back to four everything x men i just i just like it just i had to watch everything in order uh, over and over and over again it was very enjoyable very enjoyable i think everybody essentially has a or a dream a fantasy to have some kind of super power so i think watching them makes me think like ah this is what i want <laughs> so if, if can i ask you what's the super power that you always want to have ah uh, or wanted to have well i want i want to be a super genius for one thing and uh well wow. great fighter <laughs> as well as uh i don't know like physical power but i'm not sure i want to fly so i have a thing mm-hmm. like i want to be uh, uh stark and thor and i want to be funny i want to be loki at the same time and i like natasha wow it's like i want to be everybody a power from each person and that i'll be the new superhero <laughs> Okay but you know taking inspiration from all your favorite characters I get that yeah. now there is something yeah. that you have you have mentioned uh, multiple times since we started our conversation that you know you mentioned that the drama and you me- you mentioned a very important point that you know these characters are not shallow characters rather there is more depth uh, to it so can you please take yeah. uh, because we have a lot of uh, uh, youngsters who are getting into the habit of reading comics so uh, mm-hmm. w- what exactly is the thing that you know uh, when it comes to drama and the depth within a character that appeals you the most their pain every character has a past a painful past right and and we just we just say it all the time and in, in, in talking to say pain makes you grow pain teaches you lessons if you don't learn from pain 
You don't grow, you don't develop, you don't become a better version of yourself. And all of these superheroes have a painful past. They have painful experiences. They have uh, painful losses that they've experienced. And they've all grown from it. They've all become better individuals from it. They, they've learned to see life as, uh, it's not, yeah, it's a party and, oh, I have this superpower, I can do whatever I want, which is pretty immature and selfish. No, they, they said they've grown. They've become more responsible and they feel that responsibility because they experience so much pain. They know other people are experiencing pain and they wish they could do something to reduce it for other people. And I love that thing. I love that because that's what we as, as human beings should aspire to be. That's what we want. We want the world to be full of people who are growing and wanting to help other people. Can I can I say after listening to you that uh, before the word empathy became common or fashionable to use, yeah. comics were yeah. actually teaching us to be, to empathize uh, with others people uh, other people's pain and uh, to look above yourself in trying to help out uh, help out uh, others. Am I right to assume that? Yeah, yeah, you are right. You are right. Okay. Uh, now, every character has a painful story. And uh, last night I was watching uh, Titans on Netflix and, uh, you know, a brief uh, origin flashback of Donna Troy reminded me of the same thing which you just said right now. Whose story okay. is the most uh, painful for you? Oh, uh, well, I saw Black Widow a few days ago. <laughs> right. So that one is more fresh in my mind. Uh, right. Yeah, it's a story of loss and pain and regret and uh, a search. Um, but each superhero has one. It's like if you look at Captain America, he's, he's lost yes. time. He's lost his yes. life. Uh, um, Stark, Tony Stark himself. It's like he lost his selfishness and naivety at thinking like, oh, he's not doing anything bad. And suddenly it's just like, oh, I sold weapons and I'm a killer. In, in essence, I'm a killer. So yes. my, something better. Uh, the poor Hulk, you know. <laughs> I feel sorry Hulk, for yes. him too. No yeah. doubt. Each one of them has something. Each one of them has a pain okay. that, that I think just touches all of humanity. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, why is it that, you know, you mentioned painful stories of Marvel characters, but you didn't mention uh, Batman? Oh, Even though yeah. Batman was like the first uh, sure. comic that impacted you the most. Uh, well, it's because of the recent movies, I suppose. Yeah, there was less Batman okay. that I watched, I think. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no Batman. The sad beginning as well. Of course, his parents were killed and he was alone and stuff. Yeah. No, he's, he's part of it too. <laughs> all of he's them, part of all it of too. Them. All of them, yes. No, yeah. no doubt. Uh, I, I couldn't agree more with you because... Uh, I can hardly remember a superhero character that has either been produced by DC Comics or by Marvel Comics. Uh, the reason I asked about Batman was that a sizable uh, num number of my audience, you know, they are very much into DC Comics uh, compared to Marvel. And Marvel is also uh, hugely popular within my community. But, you know, just uh, wanted to get your perspective on that uh, aspect of it. Now, uh, uh Looking back at your uh, journey when you started reading comic books and then you started to watch the movies of these characters, you started your journey from uh, by reading comic books and then yeah. what happens is that uh, you get reintroduced to these characters when it comes to the movies. Uh, if mm -hmm. you, what would be your advice to the young viewers who are coming in? I mean, what is the medium that you would recommend them to go for? to understand a character, to be able to relate to it? Uh, a lot of the characters in these superhero movies are not superheroes. Like the supporters, the supporting uh, cast, you could say. Mm -hmm. um, and so there will always be somebody who is a leader in our environment, in our community. And right. they could be more superheroes. If we can't, if we can't see ourselves as the superheroes, we can be the supporters to the superheroes. Um, it's just, it's like the basic fight of good against evil. 
and always doing the right thing, no matter how hard it is, and overcoming challenges and obstacles, and facing fear and still going ahead and doing the right. Thing. And if I ask you to like recommend a medium. to understand all of these values that are coming in from these characters is it reading or is it watching the movie uh unfortunately for nowadays uh, mm. i think it's probably going to be watching movies people are But more um, your preference oriented. your preference your recommendation um, watching movies <laughs> okay so you're you're in the movie you, movie area as well yes right so uh now a story i told uh, to my audience members that you were the one who were hosting uh, a topic on superheroes what led you to that i mean uh, because uh, till now uh, we had been on the radio since uh, i mean like uh, yeah, i can't even remember when did i start so <laughs> and it was a qu- quite refreshing take on that one so did you face any challenges when you were like uh, brainstorming uh, with your team or the editors um no to be honest i'm 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 the editor i'm the one who prepares the script so i don't have any right. problem sorting it out with me. and nobody had a problem with the topic or the question no because it, it it's it's something that it brings out it makes people think i mean when you ask like what is what what superhero it's like you want or what superhero you hero you prefer It, mm-hmm. it explains the person's personality as well. It brings up what's inside them. I have a cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Same here. Same here. I can relate to your <laughs> struggle. <laughs> so okay, and uh, once you hosted that, I mean, what was the kind of response that you got from the community in general that 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 showed you a different side of, let's say, uh, the community in Saudi Arabia? because you know there are a lot of clichés uh peddled uh, about Saudi Arabia and the Saudi society and even with all the changes and the opening up that are coming in uh you know people still find it hard to believe that like for example this is the country that when it liberalizes policies for events and everything the first thing or mm-hmm. one of the first major events that they did was a comic con in Jeddah yeah, so yeah so looking at that i mean what was the kind of what did the response from the community tell you about the 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 superhero following in saudi arabia the level of interest and i mean do people follow them with depth or just superficial reasons um i can't really answer that question because i don't have much knowledge about it i know one of our presenters maybe you know him osman dahlawi he yes, was osman very dahlawi. excited yeah he's really really excited about those things and i think he even went uh but for myself i mean i don't know a lot of young people his age so it's talk to them about it so i don't uh okay i mean seriously people my age or my groups my group of friends they they're not really into <laughs> superhero movies at all or stories uh allow so me to I rephrase mean, that I, the response that you yeah. got on your program for that superhero related yeah. topic what was some was there something unique that you saw when you saw uh, saw the level of participation from the community on your program uh the ones who participated they were familiar with the uh, with the personalities of superheroes they were familiar with them so it's not like someone called and said i don't know any superhero or there was a silence or something no we got a lot of participation that day a lot of calls a lot of messages so yeah people in Saudi Arabia were aware both Saudi and residents non Saudi they were they knew the superheroes they named okay them. it was like nice and at a deeper level they were aware of these superheroes correct me if i'm wrong uh, sorry at a deeper level they were aware of the superheroes correct me if i'm yes. wrong yes 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 they were aware of them so i mean that's a huge indicator because by the end of the day the reach which saudi radio enjoys uh is mm. a lot and at the same time you being uh, a host on one of the regular programs which is very popular on the morning slot mm-hmm. time slot uh i mean if if that is the impression that is coming out of it i'm sure that this is a huge huge insight for all the businesses who are not taking uh uh superhero fans comic book read mm-hmm. uh not taking them seriously all of them mm-hmm. seriously 
not at all i mean you you see like for example still this uh, segment is being considered as uh, you know something for the kids just like in my time i mean my elders had to they they, they used to think i mean this guy is just reading comics uh, so cartoons not comics cartoons yeah yeah he's just reading cartoons he's wasting his time he's uh, this is silly stuff this will when he grows up he will forget about these because this is something childish turns out that's not the case uh, it might be a learning process that they're they're going to change soon because uh, the movies are so popular and there's yeah. like a a surge to go see all these movies and the avengers and all that stuff so that i think when they learn like oh this used to be comics kids used to read they might uh, you know it might become more acceptable or they become more aware that it is the origin Let of what great movies yeah i hope that that happens i mean uh, because uh, the kind of things that are going on at this stage when i started my uh, journey here uh, with son of jadda as son of jadda mm-hmm. i i i was i mean it was something like i just did uh, for the sake of my passion and next thing you know i start meeting up adults who are passionate about cosplays and it's not mm-hmm. just jadda riyad and khubar I mean the cities that I came across from where these cosplayers are I was like yeah. mind blown I said man this is something that requires a bit of a <laughs> deep research in that respect so uh, are you uh, yeah so are you uh, are you, how much are you a fan of uh, cosplayers um uh, so much not much I I don't know much about it I don't I haven't attended any comic cons or anything like that Uh my youngest daughter she I think was interested at some point. Uh Yeah, I I can't remember exactly which uh, she's into anime and manga. The Japanese yes. ones. Yes. 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 Uh, so I don't remember what costumes she was like into uh the things she liked to dress up as. I I can't remember exactly. It was it was a while ago. What do you see uh the future for uh, the superhero community? more and more is coming i know that there are more movies coming mm-hmm. there's actually uh, uh the uh, more japanese characters from the superhero world are coming right i mean there's a, a uh, there's one coming uh called what was it called shangzu or something shangchi shangchi Shang Shang yeah that one's like i saw the the what is it i i saw part of it being played in the cinema and i was watching black widow and i'm like oh i want to put that in my i want to come and see it well, so <laughs> I I I can't wait for Shang-Chi myself because uh you know uh, being a Gen X guy I grew up on kung fu. Okay. <laughs> And in those days uh, Saudi Channel 2 back in the 80s used to show uh, the famous kung fu TV series that starred David Carradine. Oh okay. No my passion used to be Bruce Lee. I watched mm-hmm. Bruce Lee movies. Yeah. Th- then you can't miss Shang-Chi because Shang-Chi as a character was uh was was conceived as an idea thanks to Bruce Lee by Steve Englehart and Jim Starlin. Wow, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. So, yeah, so Bruce Lee of course. I mean Bruce Lee is like uh, as we can call him, he's the sheikh. The and yeah. uh, <laughs> so uh, but Shang-Chi movie, yes, I can understand. Uh for uh, uh for me it's quite a huge excitement, but what I am more curious about is that uh I mean are we a, Uh, can we expect a comic con happening this year in saudi arabia if not in jeddah i i have no idea your guess is as good as mine i think the last one that was here was a success so i'm sure they will be repeating it sometime but i have no idea when you know with with covid and all of that it's very hard to 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 you know predict true true because uh, ever since this uh, podcast has started i mean i've been asking each and every guest of mine who is into these sort of things and then i mm-hmm. asked them this question i mean what do you guys expect like is it going to be happening or not the other day when i saw the news for uh, jeddah superdome and when mm-hmm. i read about it I, i you know it gave me a glimmer of hope that hope. <laughs> maybe 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 there there is a comic con happening in uh, jeddah so uh, before we conclude our session Uh, mm-hmm. I would like to give uh, give you the opportunity to share your uh, closing remarks concerning 
the overall superhero scenes and are you planning more superhero activities on your program good morning ksa hmm well um i would really welcome uh topic questions if you have any concerning superheroes because i the only one i can think of is what's your favorite superhero why uh what's your favorite what what would what kind of superhero power would you like to have um so to get people talking about it um or what what is the purpose of superhero movies why do we watch it why do we have such a passion for it and i'd get people's responses and stuff but if you have more uh i don't want to get too technical or too detailed because uh, people who don't know about it may not be interested and if i talk in general it they it might like um like a a light bulb moment in their head and say oh if that's what superhero movies are about and maybe i can watch one you know uh okay yeah i could mention that. <laughs> i will mention next week probably that i watched black widow <laughs> black widow yeah. uh and yes. uh, Okay so i mean guys uh, we are like fortunate to have uh, dr navin bamani at saudi a radio who wants to have a more deeper and a more mature look on this topic of superheroes that we have mm-hmm. and uh, i'm really glad that we have someone from our community <laughs> as in her in uh, yeah. our favorite saudi a radio and uh, i I would like to wish you all the best in this regard and always I mean like uh, any 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 interesting discussions anything you have just let us know and we can give a shout out uh, to our community members so that you know basically if you're doing about something about superheroes superhero fans mm-hmm. know about it okay I will okay <laughs> I will. so thank you for having me here on uh, your live broadcast and thanks to all the fans who are actually on watching and writing messages that I could read so Thanks again. Thanks a lot. The, the pleasure is all mine and uh, in fact I I want to thank you for accepting my invite and giving us the time not only to me but also to all the fans who are following in all the fans who are listening in they are they they, they got the chance to hear a different perspective about their favorite yeah. characters and that is what makes it special. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. I don't want to take much of your time because Friday is for family. Thank you once again for for, for joining in on our live broadcast. You're welcome. Thank you also. All right. Take care then. Take Bye-bye. care. You too. Assalamu alaikum.